So not that long ago, one of my friends, who has a channel name called Exit Sign 250, released a new video where he was showing two vintage devices he got from an antique shop. The, the devices were a bell and this old fire extinguisher. I was actually pretty surprised when he showed the fire extinguisher how he managed to fill his up. Apparently on his, there was this little cap that all you had to do was unscrew, unscrew it, and once it was unscrewed, you could put in your own water or something like that. So I was wondering, huh, I wonder if my vintage fire extinguisher has that little cap. So after looking at it, this is it right here, I find that my vintage fire extinguisher right there has its own little cap. So I wonder if we unscrew this, if there will be a little hole that we could fill it up with water. So let's go ahead and do that. And sure enough, it's unscrewing. And it looks like there's a hole where we can refill it back up with water. Nice. All right, let's go outside to the hose and fill it back up. All right, looks to be full now. There. So it looks like right here, this has got a pump. And to release it, you twist it, pull it back, and then start pumping. And it looks like that gives it pressure. Um, and then it shoots out, water will shoot out of this little hole at the, um, on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and try that and see if it works. And then when you put it back, looks like it disengages it. See? There's this little button right there. It looks like it disengages it. See? Cool. So now that we know it works, which is pretty awesome, we're going to go ahead and test this on an actual fire. Let's go. All right, so oh no, there's suddenly a fire. Let's go ahead and take our vintage fire extinguisher our vintage fire extinguisher here and put it out. See, I got it right here all charged up. Here we go. As we can see, the fire is out just like that. Bang. So it does work. And also just for safety precautions, I had this other fire extinguisher here that I refilled up with water sitting, uh, standing by just in case. So um, we'll go ahead and spray this at that just to make sure it's all out. So here we go. Looks good. All right, well guys, I guess that works. That was this vintage fire extinguisher. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. So it's a dry day and I really want to make sure this is out. So in addition to adding extra water to it, I'm also going to take this thing right here, which measures the temperature of where the laser is. And um, I'm just going to go, go around and see if there's any hot spots just to be safe.